Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today we're going to be looking at Proverbs chapter 2, verses 6 through 11. Do you know someone who is always blaming others? That no matter what happens, if it is bad, then it is always someone else's fault. It's someone else's fault that the bread got burnt. It's someone else's fault that the bills didn't get paid. It's someone else's fault that the project didn't get completed. It's someone else's fault that their schedule is too busy. It's always someone else's fault and not their own. Maybe if you take a moment to stop and really think about it, can this be said about you too? Do you often find yourself fighting with others or being attacked by others? You see, we all go through rough patches in our life, but sometimes it feels like we experience more of that than others do. And maybe you are trying to stop and make the wise choice, but you keep finding yourself choosing the wrong words or picking a fight over and over again. So let me suggest this. Maybe, and just maybe, you're like me, and sometimes you also lack godly wisdom. You see, so those problems that I talked about earlier, the ones where I talked about someone blaming someone else, were all my own problems and times that I wanted to put the blame on somebody else. When we read our passage of scripture for today, God doesn't promise us that everything will be perfect, but he does make us some really good promises, promises that when ignored, make our own lives harder. In Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6 through 11, I'm reading out of the New Living Translation. It says this, For the Lord grants wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He grants a treasure of common sense to the honest. He is a shield to those who walk with integrity. He guards the path of the just and protects those who are faithful to him. Then you will understand what is right, just, and fair, and you will find the right way to go. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will fill you with joy. Wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. See, sometimes the bad stuff that happens to us in our lives is not a result of other people messing up. Sometimes life doesn't turn out that well because of our own stupidity, and we can't blame others for it. We can simply look at our own lives and see that we are living without God's wisdom, and as a result, we don't get the benefits that God promises to us. See, like benefits like a treasure of common sense, a shield and protection from our enemies, the joy and safety that comes with living a life of wisdom. So my challenge for you today is to earnestly begin seeking wisdom for your life and put these promises that God gives us to the test. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we'll see you tomorrow.